I got chia seed pudding with nuts in it here. And then I have almond milk, water, banana, and unflavored regular whey protein. And really good breakfast. So I haven't recorded a video in the past few months because there was a lot going on. And yeah, I got a new camera too, so I can have more fun. So lately, I ended up reading a couple cool things. Here are some of my favorites. The first one is Dimensions of Religion, Magic, and Festivals of the Indian Tribe, the Munda. I think it's really fun to read about lesser known religions. And this right here was loaded with really cool information about the practices and the beliefs of this Indian tribe that I never knew before reading, the Munda. Another really cool book that I read is Healing Methods of the Antique Spa by Frederick Dodson. And this book was really, really cool. So it pretty much covers all of these old uh, healing technologies and different spa therapies that had used, that had existed for centuries, but had been destroyed as of like the early 1900s to 1800s. So the book is really well researched and it finds all these different cool kinds of technology from old newspapers, different advertisements, and yeah, puts it together and describes all of these different technologies that used to exist. And lastly, what I'm reading now, which I think is kind of cool, is The Genius of Flexibility. I'll have to let you know how it is, but uh, I need to get flexible, you know? I've just trained strength mostly, and I have ignored my mobility for a while, and I definitely want to get limber, so I'll let you know how that one is. <laughs> Go get it! You... How does one get a face as perfect as you? Huh? What do I have to do? What do I have to do to look like you? <laughs> Actually, you know, what I was just thinking about is, yeah, it's true that I hadn't played my musical instruments in a few months, but I don't like that. Like, that's not something I want to get in the habit of. It's a little bit sloppy right now, but I kind of have the, the notes down. You know, it's like when you do things that are really good for you and you have a lot of fun with it, it's important not to also forget that, you know? Because I became a little bit apathetic towards my instruments and I was like, oh yeah, no, I'm not really in the mood. And, and I just kind of like got a little lazy with it. But that's fine once in a while maybe, but for a few months, I don't want to let something that brings so much joy into my life go for that long. Hmm. Hmm. Alia made the best paneer burti, and this roti is made from banana flour, right? Raw banana flour, which means that there's no grains in it at all. Like, it's insane. It tastes amazing. Bo muskara kar kana kataraha. He, while smiling, ate, or was eating his food, or is eating his food. I just finished up that Hindi lesson, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty difficult today. Sometimes it's like I'm learning something and then something comes up that I don't know and it brings up like 30 other things and it just makes me feel like so overwhelmed, but one step at a time. I think that's the key, learning a language. I'm 
having so much fun training right now. I'm just doing all of my favorite climbing exercises. So a lot of pull-ups, of course, rock climbing, so important is the finger strength. So working a little bit on the hangboard. And the cool thing about this is it's just a giant wooden slab, which has these different uh, cuts into it where your fingers will just rest. And all you do is just hang from these different positions and it builds the strength in the fingers. You don't really need to do pull-ups or anything. As simple as it is, you just hang. And then I like to finish it off with like 10, 15 minutes of core. I've come to an unfortunate realization today that I think I've outgrown wearing my hat backwards. Every time I do it, it just feels like I'm like a teenager, but I'm not, and it feels like I'm too old for it, so I don't wanna do it anymore. So I'm trying to do all these stretches from this new book that I got called The Genius of Flexibility, and it pretty much gives you 16 stretches that you should be doing, but it's a completely different way of stretching. Number one, the stretches are completely different than you would typically do because it's elongating like you typically would, but it also involves some form of resistance, which actually makes sense based off of what I'm reading. However, honestly, I feel like I'm not loving this way of stretching. Maybe it's because I don't understand it completely. It makes sense. Like I, I could imagine this being like way more beneficial to how I was stretching before. But the thing is, I'm not enjoying it that much and maybe I just need to keep practicing or watch some videos on YouTube because some things confuse me a little bit. Okay, I think I'm done with that book because normal stretching feels like way more natural and just way easier, way better to do. Like, I feel like I can actually do this on a regular basis, like have a, have a weekly stretching routine because no one wants to become a crusty old man. <laughs> 